Hello YouTube, it's a nice cool morning, so we're going to be out here before it gets hot. So, it's been nasty. We're going to modify it. This is our newest one, okay? This is going to go on a brand new handle. Okay, this is the one I put on the handle where I put the wooden dowels in. It was split in half. Very much better. Boy. Okay, we've got weeds in the yard that... I don't want to bend over and pull them. They're an often place where you can't get the weed eater at. I don't want to bang the machete around and whomp it on everything all the time. So we've come up with an idea. We would like to put a knife edge on here, okay? Both sides. Now this will be carried in my own yard, so this could be considered illegal, deadly weapon, or whatever. Uh, so it ain't nothing I don't think I'd be carrying around in public. That. Here's my idea. We just did this simply with a dime. So we got two ideas here. Besides the sharp edge, we want a hook. So, say we got a weed growing up. That's the weed, right? We want to reach down, hook it, and pull this back and cut it. So we'll have an angle coming off the top. That's kind of this little bitty shaded, you can barely see the pencil. That'll show up. And that's just with a dime, and I kind of like that. So I'll measure it from here to here, and where this curve is. You know, so we'll, we'll be measuring from here, we'll be measuring here. How far, because I want a pretty good hook to it. But we don't want to come out and make it like a point. We don't, we don't want it out here. We want to keep this, because this is going to be our knife edge, remember? We're going to need room, okay? So, say we got a knife edge here, and here where you can barely see where I shave with the pencil. So we got a, an edge there. There's be like maybe a little space, but we might move this over a little bit. But you'll see as we get going. It's going to take a while to do this today. First, we're going to clean it up the best we can. Because here's where we're going to draw our pattern from, the flat side. Because if you look at this, of course, you know it's beveled and everything. And this was kind of crudely made. I didn't put the work into it as I did the other one. And I don't know if I'm going to spend the time doing that either. It's had a little water in it. It sits outside. I may want to put a little miniature drain hole back here. Remember I always tell you, I've told you a hundred times, this metal's about solid up in here. But I can still drill at an angle. I don't want to break a drill bit. But uh, I do need to put some kind of drain hole in here. Because I'll leave it stuck in the ground. And it's, it, you know, and you might forget it somewhere and it gets water down in it. But we'll bring you back step by step. We've yacked about enough. We'll try to keep our little video segment short you know like here we got this curved cut out and that's going to be a trick we're going to use our dremel tool we're not even going to try to take the big grain or do that i don't care how long it takes you will screw up taking a great big old blade in there and then also we'll use like maybe a gr our grindstones where we put our cutter blades together and make that rounded shape so a dime is just approximate. Here we go. We talked about it enough. We'll bring you back with a few little clips. Okay, your quick tip of the day. Never cut all the way to the line. Grind to the line. Okay, see how I cut these slots? See how a real short one? One here? And you come in angle and you cut these pieces out. Even if you have to cut this way and you leave a little bit, come back later. Because you want these out, then you can grind out. Because this is hard tool still. And you want to take advantage of... <laughs> we're trying to get through with one blade, at least on one side. So there you go. You can do it your own way, but that's how I chop them little hunks out. Same as with a big four and a half inch grinder. You're working on a big piece of metal. You've got to make a way to chop these out of here. I think you know what I mean. Okay, we've got three cutter blades. We went up. See what that one's got a space in it? Ain't that weird? Hope it don't snap. Anyway, never cut past your line. See it? 
because you do not know how deep you're cutting over here. Like with a saw blade, remember it's a cur it's round, and I've done it before. You, you're cutting up, it looks perfect, and then you find out, and you're coming in with your grinder, like that, that you're cutting too much on the bottom. So try to come even, once in a while look at it, physically look at it, turn it over and look at it, see the line? So I'm staying away from it. I'm cutting more at the top there. And then take my dime, see, and then check it. I did break a cutter blade. Uh, I got in a bind. I was cutting them notches on an angle, and I got it in a bind. So I started doing it. I left a little bit, and I'd break it out with my needle nose vice grips. There was some pieces laying up here. Here's one. Then I'd bust them off. And it snaps to its tool still. Okay, battery symbol flash low. Back to work. Don't do that. Almost take up. Back to work. Let's talk. Okay. Lighting is kind of wonky in here. That was the drum set. I took a picture and I was done with the. Uh, you can see a few little catter marks in there. I think it's on this side towards the outside. You can see them out here towards the outside there. But if you look at my lines, like right here, you want to practice, you know, you, you do this stuff. Like I do. I want to practice being the best. There, now you can see the lines better. I want to practice doing this stuff the best I can. So it looks like this left side may be a little deeper. It does not have to be perfect. It's what looks good to you. But I said, you want to keep that flat. Squared, you know what I mean. You don't want it at an angle. Like you don't want to grind too much out of the back here. Because then you're going to start sharpening it. And I'm going to use this to do it. This is smaller than a dime. So I was kind of winging it, you know what I mean? You just can't bring it in there and grind in the shape of it. You can't because it's smaller. This edge probably will not be this wide when it's sharpened. We do not know. That's like 3 sixteenths of an inch. I needed just some reference lines is all I really needed. There you go, enough yanking on that. I thought I'd show the details of stuff like this. But always look at the pictures. See where I skipped out with the cutter blade when I was doing the grinding with them stacked together and slip out of there? Then it'll scrub out. Okay, back to work. Okay, we are done. This is this was all done with my friends the files. The file is your friend. It is actually a little bit steeper angle on this side, I will not lie, than this one. So next time I sharpen it, I will sharpen it more on this side. Remember, it's just a tool. But double edge is easier than trying to file one big long chisel edge, of course. Okay, this you can see where that's sharp. You can tell it's got a sharp edge. So I can grab a weed and pull on it. Down towards the ground, hook it, slash it, cut it. Then I can chop, 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 chop. Even clear up here, so you know, say I'm standing up, I can come down like this, and I don't care if I hit the dirt. I can step on like a weed or a little tree sap, you know, and bend it over and then chop it up. Go for a walk around the yard once in a while and pick out a few weeds. They do make a hook for. Uh, when we work bean fields, it's it's a curved hook. It looks like a miniature scythe, S Y T H E. Or, and anyway, it's a miniature hook, and then the rod comes up at an angle, so you can reach in by the plant, not hurt your garden plant, and pull on the weed at the bottom and cut it. Look it up, bean hook. You might you might say that's what we call them back here in the Midwest. There you go. Enough of this. We are going into the AC. We've had enough of this heat wave. Had to close our door to keep the flies out. 
I always do this while I'm rambling on so you can see something. Okay, look for the pictures. You'll see little things that I did of how I did it. So, bye-bye for now.